Not that long ago, China was full of old, bent-over rice farmer ladies up to their ankles in mud. But these days, things have changed a bit. As recently as the 1980s, people here would lie awake at night dreaming of having enough money to buy a mule. Whereas now, just 30 years later, they dream of being able to buy a honky. Specifically this honky, the L5. In Chinese, honky means the red flag, the symbol of communism. But there's nothing at all communistical about this monster's price tag, which is £880,000. The interior is an exquisite work of art, with rosewood panelling and cream leather. The dashboard and centre console are fully digital. There's jade in the door handles and gold and sunflowers everywhere else. I only saw this thing for the first time a few moments ago, and already I'm in love. I love the way each door weighs the same as a medium-sized mountain. I love the red flags here and on the bonnet. I love the flagpoles. It's like... It's like a cartoon baddie's car, because in real life, nobody could be that bad. I mean, it's impossible. One thing the honky doesn't have is armour plating. But even so, it weighs just shy of 3.2 tonnes. Now, to move this enormous weight around, it's fitted with a 6-litre V12 engine which turns petrol into silence. It's not particularly comfortable, though. The seats especially are very hard, and the steering wheel adjuster button is broken, and there are no cup holders. And it certainly isn't fast. In fact, it has the same power-to-weight ratio as a Peugeot 308 diesel. Honky won't say what the 0-60 time is, I suspect, because it won't actually do sense to. You know what, though? I don't care about any of that, because it is just magnificent and evil. <laughs> Gloriously, brilliantly evil.